Hello everyone, my name is Chantal Himmels and I will be the presenting author for our paper, Measuring User Experience in Highly Automated Driving. I'm glad to be here. First of all, I want to introduce the definition of user experience we used for this paper. We share the opinion of user experience extending the concept of usability by adding aesthetical and emotional aspects, for example, joy of use. Usability represents the objective side of use, being characterized by how efficient, effective, and satisfying using a specific system or product is perceived. User experience thus consists both of the objective and the subjective side of use. It therefore represents everything that results from using a system. The point of measurement is of special relevance when it comes to capturing user experience. We decided to focus on momentary UX and cumulative UX. We understand momentary UX to be a very situative experience. It could be used, for instance, for measuring how badly system-related errors influence the momentary experience of a customer. Additionally, we were interested in measuring cumulative user experience, which refers to the overall impression a user has towards the system after having experienced it. We've collected momentary experience at five different points throughout the drive, which I will come back to later. And cumulative UX was measured once at the end of the drive. The goal of the present study was not initially to design a new scale, but to identify a measure answering the demands of system validation. That is, among others, that short and situative ratings must be possible, which requires a very short scale. Both the SUS and the UMUC scale were considered, even though their names say that they measure usability, because both include satisfaction, which we believe to have the potential of measuring the subjective side of use as well. The SUS has 10 items and the UMUX 4. Both make use of a Likert scale and their reliability and validity were checked on in numerous investigations. For our purposes, they were too long and we assumed that they include irrelevant aspects. During our automated drive, no tasks were to be completed by the driver. Therefore, tasks simply could not be more or less easy or learnable. When it comes to UMOX, further validation would be desirable too, as its validity was most often demonstrated by correlations with a system usability scale. In order to design a measure which can be used for a situational UX assessment, we suggest a single satisfaction item in the following CUX to hold the potentials to comprise user experience. In an online pilot study in which traffic situations were described via text and rated using the CUX and the UMUX scale, the two measures showed significant correlations across all situations. Uh, the scale itself is shown above, while the original items or anchors were in German. As the results of the online study were promising, we conducted a test drive in which we manipulated an automated driving system's performance either positively or negatively. A level three automated driving system was simulated using a Wizard of Oz approach, with a wizard on the passenger seat secretly controlling system availability, speed and lane change behavior. Due to Corona restrictions, the examiner, which conducted the UX assessments, followed in a second vehicle. Comprising our study design, there was the between subject factor group, which indicated either a positive or a negative system behavior, the within factor scale, which was the CX, the UMOX and the SUS, and the driving situation. A total of five driving situations differed among the two groups. The negative UX group always experienced an undesired system behavior and the positive UX group a desirable one. The order of the situations was always the same due to the infrastructure on the highway. After each situation, momentary UX was rated. After the drive was completed, cumulative UX was rated. There was a short break in between the 90 minutes after which the drive was continued. The following situations were experienced by the participants. In the passing situation, the positive UX group correctly passed a slower truck, while in the negative UX group, the vehicle stayed behind the truck for up to one minute before the passing was initiated. The left lane was free in both conditions. In the drive-up situation, the vehicle either interacted with oncoming vehicles and gave room to them, or it did not. This situation was left out of the analysis, though, due to high heterogeneity in the resulting situations. When re-entering the highway after the break, the positive fix group could activate the system right away, while the negative fix group had to drive manually for about three minutes before the system got available. 
This was called the system availability situation. In the speed situation, the driving speed was either correctly adapted to a sign or corrected to a wrong slower speed. The takeover request situation indicated a takeover request for the negative group, while the positive UX group did not experience one. Participants were asked to rate availability here. Let's see the results. A mixed factor is 2 times 3 ANOVA was calculated, including the scales within subject factor and the group is between subject factor. For a cumulative UX, there was a significant main effect of the factor group, indicating that the manipulation of UX was successful. Further, there was an interaction of scale and group, showing that the shorter measures, which was the CEOX and the UMUX, performed better than the SUS when measuring cumulative UX. You can see that by the differences between the blue and the gray bars. For CEOX and UMUX, the differences are greater than the differences displayed by SUS. For a momentary UX, a 2 times 2 times 4 ANOVA was calculated, including the scale as within subjects factor, which in this case only included the UMOX and the CEOX. The group is between subjects factor and the situation also as within subjects factor. As mentioned before, only four situations were included in the analysis due to the high heterogeneity in the drive up situation. There was a main effect of group, again indicating that the manipulation of UX was successful. The CUX scale was more sensitive to differences in momentary UX than the UMUX scale, which could be shown by a significant interaction effect. Um, you can also see that by the difference between the blue and the gray bar, which is greater for the CUX scale than for the UMUX scale. Summarizing, the CUX showed to be as useful for measuring UX as the UMUX and the SUS. Sometimes it performed even better, despite having only one item. The chosen manipulation of momentary and cumulative UX was successful. Having talked about validity a lot, we also attempted to check on reliability. Lanus and Hoodie suggested a method for estimating single item reliability using the correction for attenuation formula. This is usually used for estimating two constructs correlation if both were measured perfectly reliable. The formula was rearranged, enabling to deliver a rough estimate for the CUX reliability through the squared correlation of CUX and UMUX being divided by the reliability of the UMUX scale. The method indicated satisfying reliability estimates for the CUX with uh, R ranging from 0.65 to 0.96. Summarizing, all scales considered in this study proved valid tools for measuring UX. The CX was more sensitive than the UMUX to differences in momentary UX, yet not in cumulative UX. In cumulative UX, however, the CX and the UMUX both outperformed the SUS. Concluding, the single item never performed worse than the multi-item scales. For reasons of economy, the CX should therefore be preferred. The results also indicate that single items do not necessarily suffer from low validity and reliability. It must be noted, though, that the delivered reliability estimates are only rough. That the CX scale cannot explain the source of differ differences in UX, which actually UMUX and SUS neither can, and that the reason for the higher sensitivity of the CX scale in this analysis is unclear. We cannot causally explain the good performance of the CUX scale, but we may throw some ideas in. The UMUX and the SUS might capture aspects going beyond the aspects of UX which are relevant to the given use case. Capturing such irrelevant aspects would lead them to measure error variance, in turn lowering sensitivity. Alternately or additionally, the SUS and the UMUX might fail to capture relevant aspects, like hedonic and emotional ones. The non-specific single item allows raters to include those. Differences in sensitivity may be a consequence of differences in such like aspects, which can be captured by the CUX, yet not by the UMUX or the SUS. All right, um, that was our presentation. I'm really looking forward to hearing your feedback and thank you very much for your attention.